Peace everyone, welcome back to the drawing journey. Back again. And hope everybody had a nice week. Mine wasn't too bad. Halfway through the quarter, had a midterm that I had to take. I, yeah, I, I don't feel too good about it, but uh, whatever. And uh, last week I finished this drawing here. Um, really, really happy with the way that it came out. Um, I was, uh, I, I don't know, I felt like I worked on this one for a really long time, so it's nice to finally start a new one. And I have the next one sketched out. Um, but uh, yeah, so far this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, so much contrast in it, it's just, it's just, uh, it just came out really good. I'm really happy with it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me draw it as long as it took me. But uh, yes, I have a new one, and it's going to be a little different. Um, I am going to shift and change colors, so I'm going to be using red and white on this one. Um, no black, no brown. Uh, so we'll see how it comes out. Um, as you can see, I have it sketched out a little bit, a little bit of white. Um, Got to be careful when you sketch these ones, because... Uh, if uh, you don't get the graphite up and you try to put the white on, then you never really get white. You kind of get this muddy gray, gross color. And um, yeah, so I did that uh, earlier. And other than that, um, yeah. So I think I mentioned in last week's video that I was going to go go-karting and I did, I did, I went go-karting and did a league race and it was, gosh, it was so much fun. It was just ridiculous amounts of fun. Um, I didn't, I didn't win because I thought, oh, well, it was going to, it was the amateur league. So I, and the rules st state that if you win it, if you ever win the amateur league, you, you can't do it anymore. And so I was like, oh, well, you know, these are going to be people that are new to go-karting. So it would be a pretty even, even playing field. Yeah, that's not how it was. Um, people that did the race, they had been go-karting for years. And uh, the guy that won, he said that he's been doing it for two years. So, yeah, it wasn't exactly as I anticipated um it was still so much fun um i there was four different races um and i'll i'll cut to a quick snippet of that um uh, of the race of one of the races but there was four races total and the best that i did was fourth place i i did fourth place um fifth place and seventh place uh yeah, I actually I got knocked off the road by one guy, which really messed up my time. Because you you place based on your um, your lap average and not like the position that you're in at the end of the race. Everybody gets in seven laps, and then whoever has the fastest time that's uh, that's how they determine the winner. And uh, yeah. But my lap time wasn't too bad. Um, about uh, about 80, 83 seconds. Um, and the person in first was at like 81. So everybody was real close together pretty much the entire race. It was a, it was a lot of fun, though. Like crazy amounts of fun. Um, I did that Sunday. Um, and I definitely plan on doing it again. I have... I have a video of the qualifying, or no, the, the first heat race, uh, the race that I get pushed off the road, um, and then I have the full video of the final race, which um, I'm trying to remember why I did so bad in the final race, because the final race I got seventh place in, and it, I mean, everybody in that race did fantastic. It was um, It was a tough race, but... I, if I remember correctly, I did I did something wrong. I suppose I could just go back and watch the video, but 
yeah, it was, oh goodness, I can't get over how much fun it was. I can't wait to go back. Um, but yeah, that, so that was my Sunday. And then um, I think I've tried to explain like the weirdness of how this quarter at UW works, but uh, to put it simply, like I'm taking four, co- I'm taking four classes this quarter, but the quarter is split up into two sections, and so I finished two of my four classes. They're completely done, so I, I had a final that I had to take this week uh, along with a midterm for a class that uh, lasts the entire the entire quarter, and. Um, so it's it's nice to be done with with some of those. Um, it's a nice um, a nice break because now the classes kind of start over and I don't have so much homework this weekend. So I am going to try to do a time lapse drawing tomorrow. Um, I'm doing uh, an artist collaboration with Colored Pencil Magazine and. I'm hoping I can do that, do do my part of the drawing tomorrow. Um, that's what I'm hoping to to accomplish. Uh, I also have to take um, a test tomorrow uh, for my teaching certificate, um, which is part of my application process for my master's program, and it's like. The, the time limit is five hours, so I, the, I have to do um, reading, writing, and math test. Uh, I'm, I, honestly, I don't really know what it's, what's going to be on it as far as the questions. I do know that it's all multiple choice, so it's going to be pretty easy. It's just there's going to be a lot to do, um, a lot of questions to do, and not really... Not really looking forward to it, but I have that in the morning, uh, early in the morning, so I'm going to get that done as quickly as possible, and then enjoy the rest of my weekend, and hopefully draw a video, or draw for a video. Um, yeah. This, uh, this one here has a cloth down at the bottom and it's all white um, so I'm just trying to sketch it in get it get it ready I feel like it's gonna be quite a challenge to get it uh, on this paper to look to look good but we'll see cloth is fun to draw but sometimes there's a so a lot of texture in this one, and I don't have a lot of room to make this drawing look good. There's not a lot of room for error when you draw small like this, and um, yeah. So hopefully I can hopefully I can make this look like a cloth. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm working on. Um, what else do I have planned? I don't think I really have anything else. Um, so I'll just move on to questions. Um, first question is, what are the ingredients for a good day? Um, well, geez, I don't really remember the last time I had like a really good day. I mean, Sunday was a pretty good day. So, um, being with being with good people, I mean, that makes any day pretty much the best it can be. And um, good food, yeah, good good food is always a positive thing. Um, it's always nice to eat something something good. And uh, what else? I don't know. Uh, another component, what made Sunday good, was a little bit of competition. Maybe so. Go karting. Yeah, that makes a good day. Um, 
Yeah, it's just fun. Uh, it's a pretty easy question, I guess. The next question. Where is the next question? Oh, I like this question. This question is, where do I get my ideas from? And um, I think I mentioned this before in a previous video, like what inspires me. And in reality, like virtually everything. Um, I mean, there's there's times where like it's not a, a lack of inspiration, it's a lack of motivation. And, um, but overall, I would say that, um, you know, I do all kinds of different art and I think I, I portray that well in my channel. Um, you just go through my videos and you see I'm doing all different subjects, um, doing portraits now, um, just random stuff. and. You know, I don't know what it is about each object that I decide to do, but um, in the greater scheme of things, it's just because I'm inspired to draw it uh, for some reason. Um, and it's not really a, a, any particular reason that I, that I want to draw the things that I do. It's just um, maybe something about the photograph, the reference, or the idea behind it that just sparks my interest and, and ins inspires me. Um, some of my painting ideas, uh, they just, they just come what feels like out of nowhere, just all at once. The ideas just like materialize instantly in my head as a, a single continuous thought. And, uh, I've had videos that that do that too. Like, I'll I'll think of a painting and I'll simultaneously think of a video to go with it, and it's just all, just all right there. Every every bit of the video and the drawing, just um, all comes together as one unit, and uh, can't really explain it, but. Uh, as far as the question goes, like where, where, where do I go? Where's that? Yeah, where do where do I go for my good ideas? And um, it's it's not that I go any particular place. It's just that they come to me. Um, I love looking at other people's work, and the internet's good for that. So I certainly utilize the internet a lot to to just look at other people's artwork that that might inspire me as far as colors or composition or just random ideas you know uh, you watch a movie and maybe you're inspired to draw something from the movie I mean I've drawn a few things from movies and animes and things like that so um, I think it's pretty obvious that I, I get inspired from all over the place. I mean, one day I just opened up my fridge and had an apple in there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to draw an apple. So, no place is off limits as far as uh, where you can get your inspiration from. And sometimes it just seems to come out of nowhere. And I'm alright with that. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's about the best I can do for that question. Hopefully I did it justice. Uh, what is the next question? Oh, what was, the, what was the last thing that I cooked? Well, I cooked this morning. Um, I made a pancake for breakfast, raspberry pancake, from scratch. Um, took flour, took about a cup of flour, or so, um, a little bit of baking soda and oil, applesauce, raspberries, a um, little bit of oil, pinch of salt. That's about it. That's all it takes to make a pancake. Pancakes aren't aren't hard to make. And then add some water 
until you get the consistency that you like or the consistency that's necessary to make good pancakes because whether or not you like the consistency is irrelevant to whether or not the pancake turns out but um yeah so that's my pancake recipe and that's what I made and it was good um, yeah um, but I cook all the time that's not I cook at least 90% of my meals unless it's a busy day then maybe I'll go uh, get a burrito from Chipotle or something like that I don't know, it just depends on how busy I am. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to cook. After a hard, hard day at school or something like that, it's just um, no fun to cook. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this is starting to look like a towel or blanket or whatever. It's gonna be, it's gonna be more of a challenge just restricting myself to using white and red, and I'm trying really hard not to use any red on this blanket thingy, because I'm afraid that if I do, it might, it might, it might not look like a blanket thingy anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to keep it looking like this. Don't want to add any red here. Just want red up here, so. New challenges. That's always a fun project to take on in a drawing. I don't even know if I have another question. Oh, sure I do. Oh, yeah. This this kind of, this next question guys kind of goes hand in hand with, uh, the last thing that I cooked, and it's, what do I have in my refrigerator? Well, conveniently, I just got back from grocery shopping, so I have plenty in my refrigerator, but um, I have a little bit different stuff than I normally have because I'm trying to, um, try to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, I mean, I all I eat are fruits and vegetables because I'm vegan, but um, sometimes I do frozen and um, breads and grains, um, though I think those are important in any diet. Um, I think fresh fruits and vegetables are certainly the most important without a doubt. And so now I have mangoes and I have strawberries and blueberries, um, pears, avocados, spinach. And what else do I have? I have uh, fresh broccoli and oh, you know what I forgot to get now that I'm telling you my grocery list basically for I forgot to get Brussels sprouts gosh darn it it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough week to get through without Brussels sprouts see when when they made uh, Popeye the sailor and he did the spinach thing no that they should have made Popeye eat Brussels sprouts because that's where it's really at spinach is I love spinach I eat spinach every day Every day I eat spinach, but Brussels sprouts, I'm sorry, but they're better than spinach. They're better than spinach. I don't care what you say. You can't win that argument. Brussels sprouts are perfect. And if you've ever cooked spinach, you know that it takes like a tremendous amount of spinach to make like a single serving of cooked spinach. Though I haven't cooked spinach in a long time, I eat it raw. I put it in my smoothies, so that's how I get away with eating it every day. Um, 
Oh, I also have raw coconut, like fresh off the tree coconut. Yes, that is the best. I love just like real coconut, just unopened. Like I have to open it and opening a coconut is easy. Once you learn how to do it, it takes no, it takes no uh, real strength or anything of that sort. So there's no reason not to enjoy fresh coconut. Um, and I love it when the st it comes around in the store because I always got to buy it. And the, the coconut meat is just fantastic. It's just amazing. I love it. When I was younger, I didn't even like, I didn't even like coconut, but um, now I just, oh, I love it so much. Never liked the texture or the taste of it when I was younger, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think I'm just gonna close up this video here and uh, work on this a little bit later. Hope everybody has a great weekend. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next week. Take care. Peace.